and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am coming to you with a different kind of video. Lately I've just been doing heaps of vlogs for my JRF challenge, but I thought I would do something different. I went to Kmart yesterday and got a whole heap of sh So I thought I would show you guys what I got. Just some random stuff really. I'll show you guys everything that I got. Where's my receipt? Okay. Whoop. All right, so I spent $82.50. All right, so I'll show you some of the stuff that I got. Some of it's just real random stuff, so yeah, I don't know. First few things that I got, I got some silicon molds. So I got these little silicon, um, what are they? silicon egg poachers that I could use for my air fryer. I thought it would be a good way to cook eggs in the egg, uh, in the egg fryer, in the air fryer. I haven't done that as of yet. So yeah, I thought that would be pretty cool. Then I got this silicon ice cube tray because I wanted it to make treats in, but then I realized like you can't really push things out. So I was like, oh, maybe I'm just going to have to use it for ice cubes. I thought it would be a good size for treats, but yeah, it's just like, how is it? I don't know how it's going to come out. I don't know. Does anyone else have this and use it for keto treats? If they, if you do, does it work or is it a total fail? I don't know. I got this. I'm a little bit late to the party with the Kmart silicon molds. I got this unicorn one, which is pretty cool. And these were all $1.50 as well. They're just like novelty ice cube trays, but obviously you would use them for like jelly lollies or something like that. And then I got this cute little pineapple one. So yeah, cute. What else did I get? Oh, well, <laughs> I got some chicken necks for, for peanut for my dog. I just picked something up for him. Every time I go to Kmart, I always get something for him just because, I don't know, I feel like I want to, like either clothes or a toy or something. What else? Oh, I really want to start being like a little bit more organized, obviously, because I want to start... Um, this can get very deep very quickly, but I want to start, um, you know, planning on how I can start a business and how I can start to work for myself. So I thought it would be good for me to have some cute, like stationary. I know this isn't really going to help me like build a business, but I thought like cute stationary can help like keep me on track. So I got this little cute book. It says 2019. Um, and it's just like a planner, very simple. I think it was only like $1.50. To be honest, I was really attracted to the white and gold um, stuff. Just got like month by month, so I can sort of like organize what I'm gonna do for the month. Um, and then it's just got a section for notes there as well. I then picked up a budget planner. This is really cute as well. And then I got this one as well, this food and exercise journal. So I thought this could be useful just for me to track everything. One of my goals this year is to really, really take care of my health. And obviously I'm doing that through the JRF plan, but I sort of want to track my progress in here. Maybe I can write down how I'm feeling about stuff and all that kind of, yeah. So that's just what it looks like inside. So you've got your food and then exercise as well. I got a laptop case, which I think is really cute. It's in this blush pink. Um, so I have this incredible MacBook Pro that my parents bought me, I think last year. Um, it was so expensive, bought it for me and gave it to me as, as my birthday present, but I still don't have a case for it. So I thought I would pick up this case because I definitely don't want to scratch it. And you know, when I travel to Queensland, I take it with me so that I can edit my YouTube videos and things like that. And I just always get paranoid about it um, getting scratched in my, in my um in my suitcase so i thought i would get this cute case for it it's a blush pink with like ro oh not rose gold but gold um hardware it's got a pocket in there and yeah it's super cute it was the cutest one they had the rest of them were kind of ugly but yeah that's that oh so i got some containers they were they had really really cool lunch boxes so kmart has 
really good lunch boxes that are all like sectioned off and have like all these different compartments and they're super 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 cool but i was just like i don't know if that's gonna fit in my lunch bag so i had this little lunch bag that i bought from aldi which was nine dollars which is amazing i love it so much it's so cute i was like i don't know if these containers the really cool compartment lunchbox ones i don't know if they're actually gonna fit in my lunch bag so i was like eh, i better not get it because what if i get it and it doesn't fit so i just got some regular containers i don't mind bringing two or three to work i mean it all fits in my bag anyway so meh oh my gosh lol I got a measuring jug. I thought this was actually pretty cool. So we've, I've obviously got a measuring jug at home, but it's starting to like crack on the sides. And I think it's because I put hot water in it. So like if I'm making jelly or something, I'll put like the hot water directly into it. And now it's starting to crack on the sides and stuff is coming out um, when it's in there. So I'm just like, eh, better get a new one. I probably shouldn't have got a plastic one. Maybe I should have got a glass one because that would stop the cracks from happening. But I thought this was pretty cool because you can see on the inside it's got cups and then, um, is that like fluid ounces? So it's got like measuring of how many cups you've got. And that's, I always get confused with cups and mills and I try to convert it and it just becomes such a headache. So I'm like, oh, stuff it. I don't want to make this thing anymore because I can't like, I can't be bothered trying to figure out how many cups and how many mills and whatever. Um, and then it's got the meals on the side as well. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I think it was only like $6 as well. All of my active wear is like Nike, Adidas. It's usually either those two brands or for tops and stuff, I'll buy like Kmart tops. Like I don't really care for tops, but for leggings, I've only got Nike or Adidas or um, I've got an Under Armour pair. I tend to stay away from the Kmart leggings because I've found out once like I had this nice pair of Kmart leggings and I went to the gym and then I came home and like bent over in the mirror and my whole behind was showing so I'm like oh my gosh <laughs> I'm never ever ever doing that again so yeah I just tend to stay away from Kmart leggings tops are okay and recently I've started liking the sports bras so not so much for cardio though only for like weights i got this cute little more color sports bra it's really cute i got this one in a size 12. that's the back of it it's pretty cute and this was only 12 dollars. and then i got another sports bra as well this is a bit weird for me i don't usually go for really bright colors like this but it was on sale and it was the last one in my size so I was just like eh, I'll get it another crop top it is size 12 this was only six dollars so this was six dollars it's padded it doesn't feel very supportive but um yeah I could just use it for a weights a weights day what else did I get oh so I got a top for the gym I always tend to wear black to the gym just because I'm a sweater I sweat quite a bit so I've got a few like khaki tops that I wear which you can see the sweat anyway khaki I don't really wear a lot of gray because gray is like a sweaters nightmare <laughs> tend to wear a lot of black so I just picked up this black top um, it's pretty cute it's just like a normal t-shirt and then it's like got some netting down here, which I thought was pretty cute. I got a size eight just because I don't want it to be too big. Most of my Kmart gym tops are like size 10. Um, sorry, hair on my lip. I don't know. I just go all random sizes with my Kmart gym tops. Um, so I, yeah, I just got a size eight for this one and this was $10. And then the very last thing I got, which I thought I might wear to the gym, I might not, cause I feel like it's kind of cute. Just anyway, is this jumper. So needs a bit of an iron, but yeah. Um, so I just got this jumper. It's just a crew neck, um, crew round neck. I don't know what you call this jumper it was $15 I got it in a size 10 just plain and then it's just got this black mesh detailing on the side I don't know how I'm gonna go with white because I always get white things completely dirty so 
we'll see how it goes. So that's it for my little mini Kmart haul. Let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this. I'm happy to film more. I like showing the new stuff that I got. So yeah, definitely give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my newest uploads. And if you aren't following me on Instagram, feel free to head over and follow me there. It's Natsy with four T's. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching guys. Bye.